in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, let dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 39 I said, I will keep watch over my ways, so that I offend not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, while the wicked are in my sight. So I held my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent, but to no avail. My distress increased, my heart grew hot within me. While I mused, the fire was kindled and I spoke out with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, that I may know how short my time is. You have made my days but a hand's breadth and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Truly, even those who stand upright are but a breath. We walk about like a shadow, and in vain we are in turmoil. We heap up riches and cannot tell who will gather them. And now what is my hope? Truly, my hope is even in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and do not make me the taunt of the fool. I fell silent and did not open my mouth. For surely it was your doing. Take away your plague from me. I am consumed by the blows of your hand. With rebukes for sin you punish us. Like a moth you consume our beauty. Truly everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am but a stranger with you. A wayfarer as all my forebears were. Turn your gaze from me that I may be glad again before I go my way and am no more. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. First book of Chronicles, chapter 29. Then David blessed the Lord in the presence of all the assembly. David said, Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our ancestor Israel, for ever and ever. Yours, O Lord, are the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might and it is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. And now, our God, we give thanks to you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to make this free will offering? For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. For we are aliens and transients before you, as were our ancestors. <clears throat> Our days on the earth are like a shadow, and there is no hope. O Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building your house for your holy name comes from your hand and is all your own. I know, my God, that you search the heart and take pleasure in uprightness. In the uprightness of my heart I have freely offered all these things, and now I have seen your people who are present here Offering freely and joyously to you, O Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, our ancestors. 
Keep forever such purposes and thoughts in the hearts of your people, and direct their hearts towards you. Grant to my son Solomon that with single mind he may keep your commandments, your decrees and your statutes, performing all of them, and that he may build the temple for which I have made provision. Then David said to the whole assembly, Bless the Lord your God. And all the assembly blessed the Lord, the God of their ancestors, and bowed their heads and prostrated themselves before their Lord and the King. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the nations, who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord, for you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence, for your just dealings have been revealed. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Gospel of St John I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, 
to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. The power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. As we remember today, Saint Scholastica, sister of Saint Benedict, we pray for all women's religious communities. For the Sisters of the Love of God at Fair Acres in Oxford. For the Sisters of the Community of the Church. For All Saints Sisters of the Poor. We pray for all who are discerning a vocation to the religious life. the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence, we pray to you, O Lord, that the work we have done and the people we have met may bring us closer to you, we pray to you, O Lord, that we may hear and respond to your call to peace and justice, we pray to you, O Lord, that you will sustain the faith and hope of all who are lonely oppressed or anxious, we pray to you, O Lord, that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom, we pray to you, O Lord. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reminder that morning prayer will be celebrated in church tomorrow at half past eight, evening prayer at half past six, uh, at half past five, sorry, and all are very welcome to attend.